uh, I would say my favourite game was probably self at home. I think that's when everyone started realising sort of the team were winning. That feeling, I, I think, was a Luke Armstrong that scored when that went in and everyone just went mad. And that was right, like, it was just the start of something. I would say Salford at home. Start the season, I think, because very little was expected of us. And um, I just think it was a big shock to the, uh, to the league. And like I say, we kicked on well, and I think that kind of kick start the season for us. Um, for me, Salford's definitely up there. Uh, I think Maidenhead, maybe the first game of the season. I think. Just to go there on the day. Uh, for me, probably Boxing Day, hard to cool game, you know, there was a lot involved. We obviously we scored early doors, um, red cards, two penalties, you know, so I think that's probably my favourite game so far this season. Sulphur City at home for me, 1-0 um, down against a team who were fighting at the right end of the table now and we turned it around to win 2 one in front of the pump crowd and we showed everyone that we were here to fight this season. Uh, favourite match of the season was probably Barn at home. Uh, obviously scored the winner and uh, to come back from 1-0 down at home, I think it was uh, Clarke's first home win as well, which meant a lot to him and obviously to get the winning goal. My favourite match has probably been Dover away, that was the first time we got a win. Uh, we went down on the game and just scored in the last minute, I'd probably say Dover away. My favourite match this season is has to be Salford away. Uh, when Steve left, I didn't know we didn't know what was going to go on. Um, and then Ben and Buster took over. Probably Salford at home, the second game of um, the season, just give us a bit of hope and we beat them two one. It give us belief that we could uh, we could do well. It's got to be Dover away. I think uh, getting up as early as we did, um, travelling down on the train. Um, going one nil down with all the elements going against us and we managed to pull a win back in the last couple of minutes of the match. My favourite moment's probably been my goal that was at home against Evsfries. Uh, my first home league goal as well and just doing the Bruni celebration top of that. I think my favourite moment was possibly the whole FA Cup. I know it was quite short and it didn't really go far, but I, I really enjoyed the build-up of it all, and I just think it was good for the area. The Dunstan game especially, you know, how many were there, like 4,000? Yeah. 4,000 at Dunstan in the FA Cup, I think that's, that was really special for, for the whole area. favourite moment for me personally was probably when we played Dunstan in the FA Cup. Um, it was great, obviously, for the town, you know. They, they got to fill their pockets. Um, I was there as a supporter. For me, it'll have to be my goal that I've scored. Uh, I've not contributed as much as I'd like this season, but to score from the halfway line is something I'll always remember. Oh. 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 Salford at home, which was a special night. It was a, the start of the whole, where the belief was massive. Um, in first home game for me in front of the crowd was, uh, was a pleasure to be involved in. Favourite moment for myself was probably the first game, the Salford game, myself and Buster going out, uh, getting, a, getting a good point against a good team. Uh, really proud moment for me, obviously being the, the captain and then becoming the manager, so that was, that was probably my favourite um, Yeah, same really, uh, Salford game was just a, an emotional day for us both really. I was really proud to see Ben. Uh, it's a club what he captain, I know how much the club means to him. Um, and also the Rex Mac home game was a, was a big game for me as well. My favourite moment is probably, probably being named captain of this club. Um, you know, this club means a lot to me. Uh, but to be captain of this club is uh, it's probably my favourite moment this season. Uh, you know, just being away with the lads, um, the, the long away trips, getting up early and, and winning when, when maybe we shouldn't do. Um, we've got having a great spirit with the lads. That, that's um, there's not one I can put my finger on, but they've all been good moments. My favourite moment. Um, I reckon it's just got to be a collection of moments with the lads in the training ground because uh, it's such a good group um, and just really enjoyed it. There's uh, a lot of jokers and pranksters there and uh, it's just being able to, uh, it's like a second family really, coming in every day and enjoying training um, and as it's been a joy to be, be with. Yeah, I feel the worst moment was probably that last 20 minutes against Sutton when we were in a really good position on the table and we kind of chucked it away, got before 4-2 and thought it affected a little bit because we went on a bit of a bar run after that.
I think for me it's probably brain tree just because I think you look at those games on paper and I think you go and they're the games you need to win, especially in the position that we're in now. Before Solihull away, uh, we were seven or eight games on being. Um, well, obviously yeah, with every chance of getting in the playoffs and then to go on the run that we've just been on of six or seven without a win. Having the transfer ball, you know, um, we squad, squad of 16 senior players, you know, and I think if we had scope to bring players in after Scotty Bowden left, we could, if we could have brought another forward in, same with Fraser, you know, not asking for much, you know, just if we had the ability to bring a, a few in. Being injured for me, uh, missed a large part of the second half of the season, so being injured, it's, it's always just difficult to take. It's probably just happened there, getting the sent, sent off for what I, what I obviously I didn't, didn't, didn't agree with, but it's, it's a hard way for me to end the season. Um, but like I say, it's been a great season, so there's not been many uh, downs. One game when we conceded in the 90 period or something like that, because I thought that the lads played so well to play against a really good side, and that was a game that really, that was a little bit disappointing. Mine was the um, Sutton away game, um, to be 2-0 up, looking like we were going to add and, and go on and win the game comfortably to then lose the game 4-2. Um, also Solihull away, when Mike got sent off, that was a, a big a big turning point for us, so a couple of bad points there. Oh, my worst moment of the season. It's a lot. It's a lot, mate. Um, Off-field stuff, um, that's been the worst moment. It's been stressful, it's been hard to take. We got smashed 3-0 at Wrexham away, that was, um, that weren't very nice. Um, yeah, probably just Wrexham away, 3-0, three, three it, it weren't great. I'd say on the pitch is conceding the last second equaliser against Wrexham. I thought we thoroughly deserved a win, we played really well. That's a hard one to be fair, because there's been a lot of Really good players, um, a lot of good young players, and you know, I think experienced ones have kept us going. But I would say probably mine would be Whitey. I think he's had a, a big impact this season, getting on the ball, and he's got a tick a lot of the time, and I think he's been really good. I think it's close because, like I say, you could list seven, eight, nine players over the season who's been so consistent and so so imperative to the team, really. But I think when I look at Whitey, I think for where he was last year to make the step up. I think he's, he's done really well and I think he'll kick on and do really well. I'm probably going to second that. Um, I think the interview that he brought out um, a couple of weeks ago and just hearing from from himself like what he's been through the last couple of years. For me, there's only really one Bassi I wanted. Everyone could put, if I had to pick one player, it would probably be Ian Stepanis. To be fair, he's been outstanding as a goalkeeper. He's came on so much from the start of the season and there's a couple of games recently where he's been the one who's sort of kept us in it, he's made big saves. For me the player of the season for us has been Tom White, he's stood up this season and shown what a great footballer he is and he's faced a few injuries in his time but he's come out this season, he's been absolutely brilliant. I think it's a tough one for me, um, I think Persie setting off the season has been unbelievable, I think he's been the best goalkeeper in the league by a fair distance and uh, I'd say first half was probably John Millish. And, to be fair, he's continued on. He's had an unbelievable season. Player this season is, I'm going to sit on the fence and see all of them. <laughs> um, I don't think you could single anyone out, to be fair. There's, uh, there's too many people. Um, sort of 1 to 16 as a squad would be unbelievable. You couldn't single anyone out. Right. Player of the season is a few. It's been. All of them have been fantastic this year. Absolutely all of them. They've been credit to this club. But if I had to pick one, it'll have to be Ainsley Pets because I thought he has been absolutely fantastic this year. He's probably saved us in a few games. Um, it's tough, there's been a lot of good performance. I think Greg, um, Greg Whitey, Tinks have been good all year. And the whole team's been really good. If I had to pick a couple, of probably be Whitey and Greg, I'd say. I'm going to have to sit on the fence because Percy, Whitey, Greg and John Mellish have all been fantastic um, and so, you know, the whole squad has been brilliant but those, those guys have been the standout and I think, I, I don't know if I could pick a winner out of all of them.
Yeah, I would say just stick by with it. So I think it might be a hard summer again, obviously, hopefully, you know, the, the takeover will go through with the, the potential one that was here today, but uh, yeah, I think it could be a good summer, things go right and we can build on, you know, the squad we've got and it could be a good season next year. I think for me it's been uh, a great season in terms of the expectations. Uh, I think we'd have to thank them because obviously we know we're not big in numbers, but I think when you go away at the teams and you've got 20, 30 people coming down, it's massive. Um, we do really appreciate it and that's why we do shake a lot of the hands after the game, it, it makes a big difference. And even at home, I mean, especially since all the what's gone on this year, I think it's been a, a loud stadium considering the start of the year. It's been a very like up and down season, I think, um, but more ups than downs. So I think it's been, overall, it's been very, very, very positive. Um, considering we've had all, we've been through everything, like fans especially, and seen the club go from like the high of getting Joe and Ran Janet at the start to then to where they are now, I think it's, it's completely different. I think for me, the, the fans have been outstanding throughout, you know, and the sort of solidarity they've, they've shown alongside the, the players has been magnificent. And I just think it's brought us and as players, coaches, and the fans, what what went on out field, off the field, I should say, it's brought everybody back in the season, regardless of what happens, it's, it's been one to sort of remember by. And Thank you for your great support again this season. You've stood by the team through thick and thin. You've continued to protest and all the players are behind you and everything you do. Thanks for getting behind us and we'll see you all again next season. On behalf of me and the rest of the lads, the fans, I haven't witnessed anything like it. Um, it's been a pleasure to play in front of, a pleasure to represent and there's been nothing but different class for all of us. And whatever happens, it'll, it'll always be in my heart and I'll always, I'll always cherish these memories. Just for myself, just to thank you really for supporting us all season, supporting myself through my career all season. It doesn't go unnoticed, myself, Busted and Mike, I really do appreciate it. And just thank you really. Seeing and um, just read, read the thanks. At times it's been really tough, um, and they've always backed us and supported us, and they've always sent us nice messages, which um, doesn't take a lot, but it, it means a lot to us. So just thank you for that. Uh, final words to the fans: that just keep their heads up. Um, you know, I, they've been fantastic this year. You know, not just to not to this club, uh, to the players, to the staff. They've been absolutely brilliant, you know, when times are tough with us as well and you know they always give us messages before the game, they always give us messages after the game, they always give us support when things are tough. And in my eyes I think they're the best best fans. I haven't got a lot of fans, but they're the best fans in my eyes I think. I just thanks for having me. I've loved every minute of it. Um it's been a great experience. I uh, love all the lads. Um, and your support's been fantastic all year. I just want to say thank you for having me. Just to thank them. Thank, thank the fans because they've been uh, they've just been devote the whole season. Um, you know, all you could ask for uh, to have that that spirit and that passion for us. Um, and yeah, just keep believing because it's a great club um, and it's been a, an enjoyable journey for myself and as a group of players. And you never know what's around the corner in football. So uh, yeah, just keep believing.